We've been on the air uh, for seven plus years, in uh, year and eight. I've never started the show this way. And but but you know I've got to because it's it's you know it's it's the conversation of the moment because it is this season just to wonder who the MVP of the NFL is. Normally we'd be deep into that conversation because the season would have been over, but we still have one more week to go. Um, and you know it really doesn't. I don't think matter what Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady does or even Jonathan Taylor does this week. I think the first seventeen weeks is kind of. Uh, given everybody an idea of uh, of of valuable uh, and who's the most valuable and who is the best player in the NFL, which is what the MVP award essentially is for, the best player in the NFL, usually a quarterback, usually an offensive player, clearly. So I've never really started the show this way, but what does Hub Arkush think? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fact. You no, have no, never started the show people, like You might be going, huh, what? <laughs> But this is what uh, happened on radio in Chicago yesterday, where apparently Hub uh, plies his craft as he's talked football for a long time. Former editor, I believe, of Pro Football Weekly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. But a lot of people are you know, talking about what he had to say about Aaron Rodgers not deserving a vote for the most valuable player in the NFL because he's a bad guy. This is what he had to say. Roll it, please. Did you reveal that you're not voting for Aaron Rodgers? Is that correct? I did. Yeah. I, I mean, I've been pretty consistent about that all year. Um, I don't think you can be the biggest jerk in the league and punish your, your team and your organization, your fan base the way he did and be the most valuable player. It, it, has he been the most valuable on the field? Yeah, you could make that argument, but I don't think he is clearly that much more valuable than, than Jonathan Taylor or, uh, or Cooper Cup or, or maybe even Tom Brady. And, and so from where I sit, the rest of it is why he's not going to be my choice. He ruined the entire offseason for that football team. They were left in jeopardy. They had no idea what they were doing. Um, uh, a, a lot of the off the field stuff was wasted because he wasn't there. He tortured his fan base um, uh, and he's and he's getting ready. He's already started doing it again. Oh, he, so, you know, so, he, and, so he couldn't have won the MVP before the season for you. For me, no. Yeah, no. I, I just think that that the way he's carried himself is inappropriate, and and, and you know the the, the 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 vaccine thing just was one more, you know, log on the fire, so to speak. I I think he's a bad guy, you know, and I don't think a bad guy can be the most valuable valuable guy at the same time. Okay, so now you might be sitting here saying why what 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 why is this uh, so you know uh, top of show and trending on Twitter important? It's because Hub Arkush um, of Pro Football Weekly. Um, has a vote. He's one of the 50 that the Associated Press has bestowed with an actual vote for the MVP award in the NFL. And um, so that's one of the, it's just, and it's just 50, and it's not one of, just like baseball, where you put multiple names down, and then whoever finishes in a certain spot gets a certain amount of points associated with that spot, and then whoever has the most points is the most valuable player. There's just one name on the list. That's it. So now Aaron Rodgers will have only 49 other shots to get more <laughs> than the majority of votes because of what happened in the offseason, partially, and what's happened this season as well. And uh, not on the field. So let's jump into this a little bit here. Because you just heard, again, an actual voter say stuff off the field has a sway on whether Aaron Rodgers is the most valuable player in this voter's mind. And the short answer is that's ridiculous. The long answer is, what is the most valuable player, right? Like, do you put, you put the word, the most, you can't, you can't argue with the word most. The word valuable right. is definitely up for debate as what value is. And what Hub Arkush was saying is that his value was less than because of all the stuff that he was saying during the non-playing season, the stuff that he was doing by withholding his services in the non-playing season, the stuff that he was doing to the fan base, apparently, by driving them crazy in the non-playing season, makes him less valuable. Your best 
ability is availability, right? And he wasn't available that one time this year due to COVID, and they lost one of those games. And he wasn't vaccinated. As a matter of fact, he said he was immunized. And then we can go over and over and over again about what he has said and how he has conducted himself in his many public appearances in front of the media. And I have said on this show that his stances I don't agree with and what he said about being immunized instead of inoc- or in- inoculated and instead of being vaccinated and all of that. And then what he has said on our friend Pat's show where he is an open forum to tell you what's on his mind about everything. And now, you know, Aaron shrugs. <laughs> I don't agree with pretty much everything that's come out of his mouth. And as I said, I was patently disappointed by a lot that's been coming out of his mouth. You can't argue his value on the field. And the last word of the phrase most valuable player is what you got to focus on too. Player, player. It's not most valuable guy, bad guy. It's most valuable player. Most valuable human. No, 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 no not any of that. <laughs> most valuable player. And what he's done on the field it's is ridiculous. beyond ridiculous. reproach. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond reproach. You can have an argument about what Brady's done and how good Brady has been and what Brady's done to beat the Bills yeah. with that walk-off touchdown or what he did against the Jets just this past week with Antonio Brown strolling off the field. That's valuable. That's playing. But Rodgers has done on this field this year is ridiculously off the charts incredible and valuable and terrific. And to discount that because of the other stuff is absurd. And on top of it, if you feel like me, what Rogers has been saying, particularly about the woke mob and cancel culture. I mean, we've avoided this subject matter for we weeks have. here. Yeah, and on purpose, on purpose, yeah, yeah. Not on purpose, okay? Because I don't think it benefits me, the show, or anything to, to, to keep on harping on this stuff. But yeah, here he goes again. But the, the woke mob, and he's going to be canceled, even though he hasn't been canceled by State Farm, <laughs> Pat McAfee, Manning Cast. I mean, like, what's he been can- – where has he been canceled? Who has canceled him? This writer. So this writer <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> who doesn't agree with that statement is giving credence to what Rogers is saying about the woke mob and cancel culture. He's actually giving legs to something that has no legs in my mind. Not even the broken pinky toe is canceling Aaron. So, Hub, what are you doing? And I I wanted to invite him on the show. But guess what? Guy blocked me on Twitter. I have no idea. I've never heard of him. (laughs) Whoa, really? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No way. Yeah. I I have no idea what I said or what I did. That's hilarious. And by the way, you could see, you know, he he changed his he changed his what banner on top of his Twitter account where him with Aaron Jones, because I guess he wants to prove that he's not some Chicago honk who hates on the Packers. This is no nothing personal, even though he calls Rogers a bad guy. I don't I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. This this is very damaging to this vote in a way that disappoints me and it frustrates me in many ways. So, I, I, I have no idea about any of this at all. But if Aaron Rodgers' is play, I mean, if I had a vote, I'd have to sit there and look at him versus uh, Brady. Yeah, I really would really have tough. to. Really tough. And yeah. at the end of the day, Rodgers is a better record. He's incredible. He has been off the charts remarkable. Like, all-time great remarkable. I mean... Where Brady's had his moments, Rodgers in that short week Thursday night at Arizona, which hadn't lost yet, and he doesn't have Devontae Adams. And and that game was in the bag until it wasn't, and then 
They won it. Now, Rasul Douglas did have a nice grab of that miscommunication, Murray to True. A.J. Green at the end. But True. Yeah, Brady has all the stats. On. Brady number come one on. in all the stats. Sure. One, one win right. shot. But you can't discount Rodgers because of his stance on stuff like the vaccine. and, no, and no, I, no. I, or, or even if you people will, probably. Well, yeah, absolutely. And members of the media also yeah. probably pissed off. He said he was inoculated and then showed up in person without a yeah, mask, nice. yeah. you know, prior to Omicron where this was – a situation where more often than not, unvaccinated people are the ones who are spreading. The, I mean, I don't want to go into all this stuff anymore. I mean, yeah, it's just a waste of time. And I don't to go into it all over again and then to place it on top of a vote that you're not giving it somebody because he's not the most valuable player because of what he was doing in the off season where he's trying to get his Weird. just like everybody else. You know, he's a complicated fella, as Green Bay said, and all that stuff. But the complicated fella came back. The complicated fella's been balling out. And he hasn't been. Where's he been canceled? Except here. Where this actually lends credence to him showing up with that sweatshirt about anti cancel culture. He hasn't been canceled anywhere that I know of. Maybe he does. But I saw him on the Manning cast. He hasn't been canceled by ESPN. Not by this show either. <laughs> you know, not by, not by, you know, State Farm. He's still on every commercial. He's everywhere. Except this guy's ballot. And I'm knocking over merchandise. Yeah, it's just can, it's so distressing. We can't afford to lose cups <laughs> right now. We're down to like, what, three, four? We're, don't worry, we're getting more at richeisenshop.com. Rich- All right, so, so. Normally, I'm not going to just talk about one person's vote, but I had to. What do you say? 844-204-RICH, number to dial. Most valuable player, not most valuable guy, not least bad guy. The hell is he saying? He's got to vote. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 